Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be creating this makeup look and showing you how to do this hairstyle ready for going back to school. Now I am actually going <laughs> back to school, but I'm going back to school as a teaching assistant. I'm so excited and I wanted to test out some simple but still quite nice makeup and a hair look that I could wear that will keep my hair off my face and I thought I'd show you guys because why not so let's just get straight into the video so we're going to start off with a BB cream rather than using a foundation I thought a BB cream is a little bit more subtle, something you can probably get away with. So I'm going to be using the BB cream in the shade Light, and this is by Rimmel. Um, it's really affordable and a little bit goes a long way. So once we've done the BB cream, I'm going to use a concealer just to cover up any blemishes and to brighten under my eyes and stuff, just, yeah. I am using Trusty Collection Lasting Perfection. I'm going to blend it out with my finger. So the brush again. So our base is done. We just need to powder it quick. And I'm going to use the NYX finishing powder. This is the uh, translucent one. And I'm just literally going to put a tiny bit of that just to set our base. Now, because um, we're a little bit pale, <laughs> I am a little bit pale anyway, I don't know about you guys, but I am quite pale. I do like to use a little bit of um, contour bronzer just to put some colour into my skin, basically. Like, this step is obviously optional. If you do it lightly, you'll probably get away with it at school, but if you go in too hard you might not so it kind of depends on what you want to do personally but I am going to put on a little bit of contour and bronze and for that I am using the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour Palette this is really affordable and it's so got so many colours in it like it's literally got a colour for everything but I'm going to go in with this one and possibly a little bit of this one just to darken it up a tiny bit. So now I've got a little bit more colour to me. We are going to go in with this highlight. Now, this is amazing. Obviously again you don't have to go in really harsh with it, but just go as much or as little as you want to go. And I'm using this fan brush because this is just amazing. This is the Spectrum A10 and I love it. are done with the highlight next we're going to do brows and we're going to keep them quite simple again just to darken them up a little bit because my eyebrows are very pale and I am using just the MUA um, Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit this is in the shade Fair to Mid and I use the darkest colour actually as you can tell 
I have hip pan and I do need to get another one but I do use this every day because you can either do your brows really natural or you can make them a bit more intense so we're going to keep it quite natural today so let's go Okay, they don't look very natural, but by natural I mean just like following the natural line of my brows, and this is them. So we're going to set this in place using NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, and I've got the clear one. So that's just set them nicely into place, and hopefully they should stay there all day. Now we are going to move on to mascara, and I'm using... The good old Miss Baby Roll because I am literally in love with this. I've This is my second one and I use it every day. It's literally my favourite mascara. And yeah, let's go. So, eyelashes are done. This can be quite natural. Um, I like to apply quite a lot because my eyelashes are so blonde, I like to make them nice and dark. The last step for makeup is um, lips and I am using, because I am obsessed <laughs> with this, um, is the new uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour and I picked up this one because it's pink but it's not too pink. I feel like a nude kind of washes me out a little bit so I went for this pink colour, it's called Pink Bliss and I literally love this so I'm going to put this on right now. My lips are done. Now I need to sort out this because like what is going on with my hair? It's literally mad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a French plait down the middle with the rest of my hair down and I think I'm gonna straighten it. So let's do this. So for this hair look you're gonna need a hairbrush, some hairspray, this is the Batiste one, this one's really good actually, a couple of hairbands and hair strainers. These are Nikki Clark, got the matching set. <laughs> so I'm going to brush my hair, then I'm basically going to just use my fingers to get the section that I want in the plait, and then I'm going to put this up on my head for a second and then I'm going to use the other hairband oh, I'm using the wrong one <laughs> I'm going to section off the underneath of my hair just so it doesn't get into the top then I'm just going to plait this section of hair I'll try and do it on camera but I can't do plaits in the mirror, so I'm going to try. So you want three sections, and then you're just going to take this one over the top, and then this one over the top, then with this section, that's underneath, you want to get a little bit of hair from this side, bring it with, it's so hard to explain, bring it with this piece and then just put it over the top and then you want to do the same on the other side. It's really hard to explain but I'll do my best.
So now you should have something like this. Mine's a little bit messy, but that's okay. You're just gonna wanna plait it a few times. And then you're just gonna wanna tie it off into a ponytail. Rest your hair go and straighten it. Section mine into two sections and do the bottom one and then the top one just because I feel like that's so much easier to get all of my hair because it was curly yesterday so now don't know what it's doing. <laughs> is not cooperating today it will not go straight it's got little annoying flicks at the end but I am literally just gonna spray this with some hairspray and we'll be done so guys here is the final look I think this makeup is nice and simple you could definitely pull it off for school uh, I think the hair is perfect it stays off your face so if you're doing your work You've not got hair all in your face. And it's just super, super cute. That's it. Thank you guys so, that's so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.